that's funny. And then Mark comes in, says the same thing. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> My, can I tell him? <laughs> Remember on Christmas Day when we were <laughs> when we made gingerbread houses with my family. <laughs> so my husband goes into work <laughs> because I made him make one too. <laughs> he said everyone's teasing him. <laughs> He's telling me what all they're saying. <laughs> I thought of that. I'm opening my Stitch Fix box. <laughs> He was such a good sport. He didn't want to do it. He really didn't want to do it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Poor guy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to get him to come over and say hello. And he's like, no way. I'm not doing it. Everybody <laughs> picks on me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Men. I'm so mean. <laughs> so, okay, guys. I just opened my Stitch Fix. I like for you guys to see me do that. But I was doing it while I was laughing. And my box is really heavy this time. So I'm thinking shoes. Like maybe shoes? No shoes. Hmm. Buy the box shoes for sure. <laughs> like, um, let's see here. Um, oh, and I know I had from the video that I did a little bit ago, everyone was asking me about this gimbal um, stabilizer that I have. So let me post the link real quick. Um, for both things, my um, I'll post my Stitch Fix and my uh, gimbal just in case. Um, I went back in to get the exact one that I have, and it's not available. It was a two hundred dollar gadget, and I think the one I posted is like one thirty five. And I tell you, from the looks of it, it looks exactly the same. So I think it should work the same. Um, there is a charger that you um, there's a little hole right here and a little charger cord that you get. And you just plug it in and then you turn it on here on the side and then when I have my phone in it it powers right up and it like stands to attention but I don't have my phone in here but it'll go like this and then you control it with these buttons here um, and then see this tells you it's on Wi-Fi the blue one and the green one tells you it's on so when I put my phone in it I think it just finds the weight of that and it just like like a robot, it like just stands up, and then you can use this button up here to raise it, like tip it forward or tip it down, and um, you can control the sound, you can turn it on and off with this thing, so it's not like far from your face, but this is how I, this is what I was walking around with, and my phone now is on my tripod, but it was in this, and I walked around, and, and as I was raising it up or coming down to show you like the hearth and stuff, it just stayed smooth and like I was walking all around and this thing just kept everything nice and smooth so let me shut it off and I posted like I said Amazon does not have any more of these right now so I posted the one I would get if I wanted one right now posted the one I would try out so as soon as this one comes in if I happen to notice it I will let you know but so let's open this up and see I'm sure you're all as anxious as me to see I don't see any happy colors in here I like happy colors, but it is winter, I guess. Now, when you open your Stitch Fix box, you'll have your clothing in there packaged. You'll get a return envelope to put everything in that you do not want. You send it back and you just put it right in your mailbox in the morning. You do not have to add postage or anything. There's the return label on there. You just put it in and get rid of it. Um, let me show you. There is a little card in here that gives you pictures of how to wear everything that you get um, like different ways to outfit it so let's say this um, this these pants are in there it shows you how you do a blouse um, or different colors of shoes and in, in the big sweater or your jeans just different way to ways to outfit it I I really haven't paid a lot of attention to these but they're nice for someone that might want to um, and then there's a little envelope and in the envelope is your slip that tells you how much your clothing is uh, going to cost. And we got $291 in clothing this trip. And if I keep all five pieces, you get $72.75 off, plus they waive the styling fee. So it would be $198 for all five pieces, okay? It looks like the most expensive is 68 and the cheapest is 48 
So that gives you an idea. Now, oh my gosh, my daughter Summer would love this. This is her color. It is actually an army green color. There's zippers on the, oh, I'm close. There's zippers on the front side. This one is a large, it looks really big. I'm not sure, I'm not sure it's not my color. It's her color. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. You, ha you know what, you have to try it on. And I do love the zippers. Can you see them? I do love the zippers, but I'm not sure. I, it's just not, it's too blah. I think it's too blah for the price. But if Summer was sitting here, she would be like, Mom, you've got to keep it because that's her colors. Oh, this one's really pretty. Look at this. Look at that. All the lace on that, front and back. You would just wear a, like a tank top under there. You wouldn't even have to, really. Oh, I really like this. And it's a... Um, it's thicker than chiffon, but it's like a chiffon. It's a real heavy, um, oh, I really like it. Even though it's winter, can you guys see that? Even though it's wintry, I think that would be really pretty. I think I really like that. Because I would just wear a jacket with it or, um, it, or wear it in the summer. I love that. And it's black, and I wear a lot of black. So I like that one. Okay, oh, this is big. What is this? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, it's a sweater. It's a big, it's a big long, it's a big long sweater. So let's see. Oh, it's one of those cozy, um, long, long sleeves. Like you can like do this. <laughs> I like doing that. Let's see here. It's got pockets. I like that. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of blah, but it's long. It's below my knees. So... I don't know, I'll have to see if I can outfit that. But it's not heavy. I have one that's real chunky, and this one's real thin. I don't know, how can I get you to tell that? It doesn't really matter, but it's really thin. It's not heavy at all. So that might be a nice spring-fall type thing. And then, there's this. Now I know you're not supposed to wear stripes, but I sure do love black and white. And look at the elbows. I have little suede, um, yeah, they're kind of suede uh, elbow pads. That one's really cute. That one's really cute. I might try that on with my black pants just to see. I do like that. I love the two. I love this, and I love this. I'm not sure about the other two pieces. And then jeans. And let me just tell you what, you guys. Their jeans are, like, amazing. Let me see. These are about ankle high. If you don't have stick, Stitch Fix jeans um, and you're signed up to Stitch Fix, you need to request some jeans. They are awesome. So they would be, I'm going to assume they're the most expensive thing in here at $68. Um, let me see. Let me, I can't I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> That's bad. No, they're $49. Wow, they're $49. I might keep the jeans if they fit me. They're very cute. Very cute. They're just plain. Nothing fancy schmance about them. But I love their jeans. So I don't know if I've had this brand or not, but I was recommended their jeans. Um, oh gosh. Well, I've been doing Stitch Fix. Let me see. I'll tell you how many I've had now. 21. This is my 21st one. So almost two years. And every pair of jeans I've ever gotten, I've loved. I don't think I've ever... They sent me a... A cranberry color once and a real funny plum color but I'm not into colored pants I don't think um, I did get a black pair once and I kept those because you know I like black so um, anyway that is my stitch fix for this month and so you may be seeing me wear this or this we'll have to see about that green um, see what I think about that on it might be cuter on you know a lot of times things are cuter on and your stylist is always the one that knows so we'll see what how she did um, once I try it on, um, I put the link in the comments. I can do that again for anyone that's looking uh, for it. Let's see. And paste. Lola. What's she doing? Oh, <laughs> Lola. Um, what brand? I think somebody said what brand. They're STS Blue. And these are called Emma Crop. So I need to see. They seem a little... Um, 
think they might be a little short ankly. Of course, it's boot season and then soon going to be summer, so you just cuff them up to make them a little bit more. And I think they'll be great. They do seem a little short, so I need to, I need to try them on. But they do say crop, so that might be why. <laughs> So, okay, so I have, I showed you about the gimbal. I'm sorry they don't have mine that he got me for Christmas, but like I said, this one looks really comparable to it. So, that's all I have. I will look back at your comments, answer any questions that you have. I posted my Stitch Fix link there if you are interested in giving it a try. Um, if you liked all of the things in my kit or in my uh, box, uh, Generosa, she, they let me have her again. Remember her? She was last month's, and I loved every every single thing in my box last month this month I'm, I'm not sure but I'm half I'm half sure <laughs> but let me try it on because I might I might be all the way in you guys and that's the thing if you do get this you do need to try it because things take shape they just look a little a little different than they do on the hanger I found that with my store and in selling clothes um, that you know, you're, you're ordering like from catalog and they bring things in on racks and you buy it that way. And then, um, when it comes in, in the box, you're opening it up. It's like, who ordered that? Like, did I order that? And it's not pretty. And then somebody will try it on. And it's like, Oh, I better pull one of those for me. I like it. So you can't always look at it and know. Sometimes you have to try them on and, um, they just, they just come to life, and it's like hard to believe it's the same thing on this hanger that I have on. So anyway, that's all I have. The links are in the comments. I'll read your comments and answer all of your questions uh, by commenting back to you. So I'm going to go make some dinner. I'm using my new Instapot, and I'm trying vegetable soup in it. So it keeps, um, doesn't do anything, and all of a sudden it steams a whole bunch and uh so yeah we're like <laughs> waiting on the kitchen to explode but i've made what what did i what have i made in that thing randy are you up here um yeah, yeah i made barbecue chicken that was the most moist chicken i have ever made i shredded it i think i already told you guys this i used a hand mixer um i know we were talking about it on new year's eve my friend debbie and i and i used a hand mixer to um, grind up the chicken not grind it but like shred it I saw that trick I think I saw it on Pinterest or Facebook or somewhere but it worked oh my gosh it worked so I cooked the chicken breasts in the pot and then I used my I used my mixer to shred it and then I added the barbecue sauce it was delicious it was the most moist chicken sandwiches I've ever had um, we all loved it it was it was really good and then I made something else in it Oh, no, I didn't. Abby took two apples and cored them and chopped them up and did cinnamon and truvia in them and then cooked them. And it was like three minutes or something like that. And they were delicious. It was like apple pie without the crust. That's right. And then um, now I'm trying vegetable soup. I just saw it on Pinterest. It came across my thing and I thought I have everything to make it and I was going to make it the old way, but I'm trying it in the, in the pot. So we'll see how it turns out. So have a great night, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.